I wanted to show you a quick demo of how Mary assets are going to work uh, in Drawer Manager. So this is kind of a pre-release Drawer Manager 2.0. And what we have here is an address that has some Mary token native assets on it. And so we'll send them to some other accounts here. So I'll click on the send button. And then this screen is a little different than you're probably used to in Drawer Manager. Um, you can send any number of currencies now. So we have ADA and all of these Mary assets. So we can send ADA like normal. So we'll pick something to send a few there. And then you notice once things um, are validated, it, things turn green and so then we can just add entries and these can be minimized, maximized. So let's send some ATA to coin to that same account and maybe we'll send 10 of them over there. Oh, we've only got seven. So let's send three of them. And again, it kind of gives a summary of what each entry in the transaction is doing. So how much is remaining in this case of ADA, how much is remaining in this case of AT ADA coin. And let's add one more for AT ADA coin and we can send them maybe to a different account and we'll just send 100% of what's left. So you'll see that's four. Um, you'll also notice some additional fees here. So the token fee requires that you send ADA along with tokens. In the case of this first one, we already sent enough ADA to cover the token fee, so there is no token fee for that one. Going to the account number two, we did not send any ADA with it, so it added on a token fee of two. And that's to prevent, you know, crap coins from propagating in the network if you always have to send some ADA along with it. So let's go ahead and send this particular transaction. see our transaction succeeded that's off screen right now I guess but we'll wait a few minutes here for our transaction to go through and you see now that we have our three coins we sent here along with the 50 ADA we have our two coins that came along as the token fee and we have our four coins here and you can do any number of um, you know crazy transactions build up that entry list as complex as you want. Um, normally in your manager, since this is a stake pool management system, you would want, uh, you know, you'd pretty much use it to move the assets off of these these accounts because they would be your stake pool accounts. But it's, it's useful for that. Or if you just didn't want to use any of the stake pool management capabilities of your manager and just wanted it to uh, be able to work with native assets, you know, all you need to do is spin up one relay node, you don't have to have any stake pool or anything like that. But anyway, just wanted to kind of demo what it's all about. And um, thanks for watching.